Hey everybody, today I just wanted to go over meal planning and how important it is. So in the group, I will have posted some blank uh, meal planners for everyone to fill out. For me, I fill mine out a week in advance because I work full time, so I need to make my meal plan up uh, before Sunday because I go grocery shopping on Sunday, get all my um, groceries then, make prep up a bunch of stuff on Sunday, all my veggies are cut up, I cook a bunch of meat, um, and I know what I'm eating every single day. I also start work really early, so um, my lunches, breakfast, snacks while I'm at work are all done up the night before regardless because at 4.30 in the morning I'm not making my um, lunches and breakfast for work. So you'll see, if you can see this, um, I'll have posted these blank in the group. This is mine all filled out. So if you do are out of the house um, working or whatever during the week, I would suggest probably making this up ahead of time. Um, it makes it that much easier. If you are at home, if you're on mat leave or stay at home on with your kids, it also it might make it easier for you if you fill it out as you go through the day because you might not have you might not have everything planned out. You might just be grabbing, oh, I'm gonna have a veggie here, take your cup of carrots and go with your hummus and then just mark that off. So if you can see here, I have written out what I'm having for my breakfast. And then when I'm making it, I just cross off here. Okay, yep, there goes a yellow for my oatmeal. So that I get everything off during the day. If you are doing it um, as you go, I would just I would just write down, okay, I'm gonna have oatmeal and berries as my breakfast, cross off a yellow and a purple, and I would just do that if you can see it. I would just cross it off as you go. You'll you'll find out what works best for you. Everyone's different, but I think if I was at home all during the day, you probably would change your mind or it's just easier to pick what you want as you go. I would still probably have a few things prepped out and in the fridge so that if you're starving or you're running behind and need something quick that you're not grabbing for that easy processed packaged snack or meat or whatever you have real whole foods cut up or berries in the fridge or something. Um, so I will have posted these blank ones that you can print off um, in the group. I will also post some sample ones so you can get an idea. I'll post mine as well. Mine is very repetitive because I eat the same thing every single day mostly. I eat my oatmeal and berries and hard boiled eggs every morning for breakfast. For lunch I have a salad with usually chicken and avocado and some seeds and then my dressing is plain as well it's just balsamic vinegar and extra virgin olive oil um, then i also have um, a cup of some kind of raw veggie so usually carrots cucumber or peppers with some hummus um, then in my afternoon on my drive home that's my snack i have usually an apple and uh, then when I get home, I do my workout, and after that, I have my Shakeology. That's my treat, and I really like having that after my workout. It's just a refreshing treat. Cools me down after my workout. Look, it gives me something to look forward to, as well as having in the afternoon. Um, that's when my cravings are the worst. Like getting through from two till six at supper time. That is definitely my hardest time. So having that chocolate shake is a lifesaver. Um, but some people might like to have it at breakfast. My sister and her husband have it every morning for breakfast. Um, something quick to get them out the door. See, as I get up, I'm at the door at 5 a.m. I don't have breakfast until uh, my first break at work at about 8. So I just drink a bunch of water from the time I get up until my first break. Uh, sometimes, if I'm really starving, I'll have my one hard-boiled egg quickly at like seven or something. I'll run to the fridge during work and get it. Um, but otherwise I usually don't eat um, my breakfast until eight. Um, so the only thing that usually switches in my meal plan is my dinners, which 
Um, I will have planned out uh, throughout the week, but I don't eat the same thing every night. Some nights it will be the same if I don't mind leftovers, but some people don't like leftovers or they have a big family to feed for. Um, so we will be making something different every night. Um, throughout this group, I will be posting a bunch of recipes to help. Um, there is the Beachbody blog. It has a bunch of recipes on there as well as at the bottom it'll tell you the nutritional facts and the containers per serving which is amazing I get so many recipes off there and post them in my support group you probably see them all the time um, but I will post recipes hopefully I'll try to every day in here as well as any tips and tricks um, I will post um, how some different ways that I cook my chicken and um, my roasted veggies so if you still don't have your package don't worry I will get everyone hopefully be able to start with us um, on the Monday so this is just a basic prep week for this week to get everyone started if you do you want to start right away no problem that's fine um, on the 8th I think is next Monday um, I'll start 21 days of challenges so every day I'll post a challenge um, check in and do that challenge because at the end there'll be a prize for the person that has the most points from each of the challenges and message me anytime or post in the group if you are having uh, that question I guarantee there's someone else that has that question too and no question is silly honestly I never thought I would be able to portion control and I've been doing it for over a year now and it's so easy I just I can do it in my sleep now it's just how I make my meals and it's so easy so hopefully this was helpful my video isn't that clear but I will these the planners will be posted in the group so feel free to print them off oh and Pinterest as well is an amazing source for um, recipes or sample meal plans to give you some ideas I uh, hope everyone's having a good day